load up here. But yeah, I'm just trying to sort of think of the last few bits that I want to mention before we obviously kick back into the YouTube. But yeah, I think on the whole, like, I think for the time, for 2002, this game is fantastic. Uh, you know, I, again, we've got obviously the benefits of, like, additional upscaled rendering, but the game still looks fantastic, given this game is 20 years old. It's super, super impressive. Um, you know, and ultimately, I think the gameplay system is, on the whole, pretty rewarding, you know, um, and that's obviously it's worth investing in as you do feel like generally you get a lot out even though i think towards the end they, there's a bit of extra stuff you don't really kind of need but that's the way it goes um and obviously the santi system i think is obviously super cool but the problem is it's like i kind of wish the game like forced it upon you more like we have seen very little of it and the only way i would have seen more is to deliberately not improve our sanity but why would i do that like it makes everything just harder so there's kind of no incentive to deal with any of that sort of stuff and alternatively as well um like it's it's pretty easy to not have to deal with that from an interesting tie-in and a, a fair thing that's actually kind of similar is actually the sinking city which we're playing at the moment obviously but when you're playing as charles reed and like your sanity like uh, it's got a similar sort of idea the sanity as well once it depletes significantly you start seeing hallucinations as well, and you start seeing lots of crazy stuff. You get drawn into like extra stuff you've got to fight and deal with. But it's like you so rarely ever like have to deal with any of that because it just never ever comes up, you know, stuff like that. And I think that's kind of the uh, it's kind of the biggest shame, really, you know. Uh, I need to go in here, actually. No, I need to get the key, I think, on the desk. You know, I would like it if the game, like, forced you into these situations more. Or, like, you had these situations where you had, like, not just, like, the trapper realm, where... Be quiet. Not just the trapper realm, for example, where you can't use spells, but if it did it in more places, and thus, like, even an extended period where you then have to start dealing with these sanity effects a lot more, and it's kind of put upon you... It's basically kind of like, I think, fairly optional. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. I, I think that's, well, it, if that's one of the big things, again, and I think it is cool. There's a lot of fun stuff, and we've not seen half of it, I'm sure. Like, I'm aware of, like, the, the fake game crashes and the game, like, trying to suggest that you're going to delete all your save files, stuff like that. You know, so that's really cool. But we've not had to deal with any of it because the game just doesn't really ever put you into those situations often enough, you know? And the only reason you do it is if you're basically kind of allowing it to happen. If you're playing anywhere remotely, pragmatistically, it just doesn't come up, so. So I think that's a shame. Um, but I will say on the whole, like, I think, like, the whole the way the story is presented on the whole is pretty good. Um, you know, the puzzles I think are fine. I don't hate them at all. I think they're totally good. Let's go and pick up Magic Pool here. So I think that's fine. Um, you know, and again, the fate, I think the Magic on the whole is fine, and I like it, and I especially like... Yeah, pretty much. Like, if you're taking any remote kind of care how you play this game, it's not a dip. You don't really ever come across it. Now, maybe it's just, again, that might be just because of the way I play, I'm playing this game. But, I mean, why shouldn't I keep on top? Like, this game can, like, kill you very suddenly if you're not ready for it. Like, you're, it's in your best interest to keep on top of things and not allow, like, things to go crazily out of hand. Like, that's the whole point. You know, and magic is so easy to come across in this game. You just do it so fast. There's no reason not to just use loads of it. Also, hi, YouTube, by the way. We've been talking about my, oh, my sort of uh, thoughts of the game. Um, and now chat is starting to give all their thoughts about it. So we'll include this bit in. But yeah, just kind of going over the thoughts. I, I, I enjoy the game. And I like that there's lots of really decent and fun components. And again, I think for 20 years ago, I think this game does a fantastic job. But in mod with modern eyes, I think it does struggle a little bit now, you know. And it is that some mechanics have just definitely not aged very well, and that's that is a shame. But for 2002, like I don't think you can particularly hate it. I think to do so would be kind of probably unfair, really. Uh, 
But it's so frustrating. It's like I, I, like I'm just waiting for the game just to just, and that's what I've said. I like at this point for the game just to go that one extra step. Because I think it can do it, and I'm like waiting for it to do it. It just doesn't quite do it for me. And it's it's a shame, you know. And the combat system's fine, but it's like it's not it's not remarkable. It's 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 totally okay. But yeah, it's um. I think mean, that's where I put this game. Like, if I had to rig it right now, like if by by modern day standards, I'd probably give it like a like, probably like a seven or something. Like, it's totally fine. It's it's enjoyable. I'm still playing it, but I just feel like it could have done just a little more. It just doesn't quite seem to quite get there. So. But hey. Let's go ahead and put this in here. I'm just kind of like looking at some other reviews of the game, like from the time here. Look at the one here from um, like Nintendo, for example. Um, because I just do this, we see some cutscenes. Game. But yeah. That's the way I look at it. Again, like I think the fact that, again that like, you can spells you can suss them out early by logically putting them together, I think is definitely very cool. And I am curious to see them, in a way. And use them. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the guardians, Edward. Here for a second again. Like, I am kind of curious, like, if I'd have chosen a different um, object, like, how the story would have differed. I'm not going to play the game two more times to find all that out. I, I'm not going to do that. But I can always look it up. But I'm sure there's enough differences, and I imagine by the time, like, you've done all three runs, then you find out how the game actually meant to end, and that sort of whole thing. You know, which games, especially at this sort of time, love to do. There's a lot of that in games. Definitely carried as well, for that matter. Grab all these bullets. Should take that. I think the one thing I'll also give for this game is that um, I will say that I think the controls are actually, on the whole, the controls are pretty good. Um, even, I mean, obviously I'm playing this with like a, an Xbox controller. I'm not obviously with a GameCube, but I still think even with this, like this is not a million miles away. Um, and yeah, I reckon like the game, I think handles pretty, pretty decently, all things considered. I, I definitely can't hate it. What does this do again, by the way? Transfers the innate magical energy of the environment to the self. Oh, it's that thing. Okay. I don't want to be messing around with that. What we do want to do is uh get rid of our blade we better have a bad day and by my blade i mean my gun and by bad day i mean yeah the voice acting's pretty good as well uh the music i think on the whole is pretty strong there's you know a lot of nice sort of ambient sound effects as well so i can't hate that and like, while I definitely can't sit here and give a a, a, a very heavy, like, assertion of where this game ranks with, say, other, um, other GameCube titles, because my experience at GameCube titles is almost non-existent. I just never, I, it was just never a console I really got involved with. There he is. I see him. Oi! Oh, wait. Oh, dear God. So. Right. So let's make sure. I didn't save the fucking game, by the way. Oh, shit. He's actually fucking absorbing me. Oh, my God. Oh, I got away. Oh. 
Try not to shoot my own dude here. Yeah, I do think so. I think the game plays... I think there's a bit too much repetition, I think, as well. I think the game does struggle with that after a little while. I need to move this room. I'll be back, dude. I'm sorry. You'll be fine. Whoa, he actually came for me. Holy shit, I didn't expect that. Lady, we got a problem. I'm trying to reload my gun here. He's actually charging me. Fair play. Oh, for the love of God. I'm going to die here for this. I need to get out of here. I need to get into a, a room without him for a second and save the fucking game. While I still can. Oh, for fuck's sake. I might be I might be about to die here, everyone. I'm not gonna lie. Freaking vampires, everyone. They are the worst. I'm gonna try and cast the big one. Thing. By the way, fucking nightmare here. I've got to like scare it away or something. But unfortunately, my ability to try and like do anything here is just like hideous. And the game does this as well. I think time to time you get in like these really awkward spots where it's kind of hard to really do a lot. And that is really frustrating, I think. This game, the game, it's just, yeah. Like, now it's like I'm basically just stuck in, like, a death spiral here. It's like, how do I recover from it? I guess i got to try and savor the fucking thing. But now I don't have the magic to cast my spells. And it's like, I have no way to heal. And I'm just kind of, like, largely fucked. As long as I stand by this door, he can't seem to get at me, which I guess is nice. But that's also kind of like immersion breaking as well. That is not the right weapon. So he is coming for me here. And it's now I've got to like wait forever. Ah, interesting. I was able to see him for some time around here. Interesting. Alright, let's re-re- re-get re this. Is there a way for me to go somewhere to like... So it's constantly visible? There he goes. I guess I just gotta keep slugging it out with this thing. Looks so. Alright, let's go. Can I save the game now? I still can't save it. You know what? Alright then, what we're gonna do, everyone, if the game's not gonna let me say, I'm gonna put a save state down. Uh, emulation, save state, uh, save state to slot there. So if we die, just for everyone's sake, there we go. We have a safe state in uh, in slot three. So if we die, we die. I can now reload the game. <laughs> just random gunfire. Whoops. But yeah, these uh, these servants are very very calm, aren't they? Again, I can't get down there, so I've got to find a different solution. Hmm. 
Yeah. Like when I do these sort of series, I like I don't like kind of like trying to um You know, I like trying to mainly kind of not not break the rules too much. Especially, especially I think like when I first started doing the Toy series, like I would I would just I was an absolute safe state abuser. And I try and refrain from that. I gradually wean myself off of it to the point now where it's like I try and really not have that be an issue. But still. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Just fucking smash the thing, buddy. You know what I would have liked to have seen for this game? I hear it. I don't know where it went. I think it went up here. I think mean, what I would have liked to have seen in this game is... Hello. I mean, so probably. What I would like to have seen for this game is the opportunity to kind of actually play the game a bit kind of... Um, have the opportunity to play the game a bit differently some from time to time. You know? Whoops. I've got to, like, check my target and make sure I don't hit my own freaking dude here. Now I've got to go Saber's the problem. Because I can't reload in time. Unless I... Maybe I can just take its attention. It will follow me. Not enough, though. For fuck's sake. Vampire fighting. Go on, you piece of shit. There we go. Oi, where you running? No. We're back here. Having a scrap. Guys, please, you've got to leave this freaking building for the love of goodness sakes. Do you realize how ridiculous this is that you're just chilling when there's a freaking vampire who's trying to, like, eat you? Chained by his brush to death, the servant gives his thanks. He warns that the creature might still be around and next try would be handy. He fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. You had it. Very good. Gonna be needing that. Don't mind me. Time for an upgrade. See, it's worth saving some of these people sometimes. They'll give you shit. Like that, you know? For being good, the game, like, it's like, sure. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Merry Christmas, me. This function, so this, has, this function allows the character to change the fire modes selected on guns. So I can use it with one shot, or I can use it with two. We're using it with two. Because you better believe that we're getting stuck in here. And we are going to have ourselves a good time. Alright, where is this piece of crap? A test. Well. Well. She's, um... I think she was soundly defeated. Is 
Is he dead? I think he's dead. The vampire dropped the top half of a key onto the floor. I think I was too late there. We need to chase this son of a bitch down. Damn it, I was too late. No! No! I'll need to get more peasants! Damn it! Man, you do not care for my bullets. These vampires are pretty strong! Alright! Jesus. <laughs> she just calmly... She's just calmly scrubbing the... Look, lady, the blood's elsewhere here. You... <laughs> so dumb. This fucking game, everyone. This fucking game. Alright. Let's change it to that. And let's uh, mix it with that. I mean, it would, but like, jeez. Ah, oh, the old repair, um, that was the different assumptions I'll do. We gotta do the old repair magic. You guys remember what that was? Enchanting, wasn't it? I don't think it matters. I ain't done this for ages. Man, what was the last minute to repair an item? It's been some time. All right, where is this piece of crap? Oi! Oh, you are so fucked. Jeez. Well, apparently he's made of tougher stuff. Okay. Oh, I see there's another big revolver there. I like that. Reloading this is going to be aggravating. Let me get out of here. I have to kill it down here, otherwise it's just going to continue to heal it. I've got to do something about this stone. How much is clear? I've got to find a solution to our problem. There we go, that's better. Uh, gods, a, a shield spell is good. is a good idea. I like the sound of that. Problem is, is reloading these damn things is the problem. It takes so long to repair these. That is kind of brutal. Let's go ahead and enchant the saber. Just so I've got it to um, to use. I've no shotgun, annoyingly. I do want to find out where the heck that is. All right. Round two. Wait. Let's have a look at this thing. Simple obelisk made from an alien stone sits atop the well. Runic design is carved into one side, proclaiming its allegiance. Summon horror. That looks interesting. Mm. Oi! Ah, I can't. I can't reach it. Right. Let's go. Mortal Kombat. I don't think this is what I've got to do. I've got to like deal with the spell. I guess. What we got here? Ooh, a double a sawn off. Nice. I like that. But unfortunately, all these weapons are like super slow to uh, to deal with. That's a problem. There is ammo everywhere down here, by the way. Look how much there is. It is ridiculous. My God. How much ammo? Jeez. 
Jeez. My God. The Ithaca. Hey, we know the Ithaca. We need to destroy this thing. I think that's fairly clear. That's what we've got to do here. We've got to take out this freaking stone. It's going to take a little while, unfortunately. There we go. Now you fucked. Get him. Bitch him. There we go. That is the vampire defeated. Very good. Put up a fight. Alright then, so we are we are loaded for bear. We have a absurd amount of weaponry. I don't know about flawless, but I'll take it. It's just there was no door there at the time, so that's a recent addition. Alright, so I guess we're going down, and we're going to go down into a very bad place. Let's go ahead and save the game on the system. There's the send. So, we haven't been here for some time. However, this is a place of uh, extreme danger. Extreme, extreme danger. Have a look at this summon horror. What the hell this actually does? The bestial theory of, of the horror is unleashed by this magic. The horror's abilities are yours. Enemies may be crushed or rent apart, racked by magic. The spell should not be undertaken lightly, for its toll on the psyche of all kind is high. Hence why it is a tear free magic. Makes sense. All right, we're going to do some casting here. Uh, I should probably be using the shotgun, although I have loads of elephant gun shells. Let's go with the shotgun. We've got buckets of for this. Not so familiar with that one, I'm afraid, my dear. So I'll have to take your word for it. I love how much there is in that still. We are going to go ahead and give ourselves more shielding here because I don't see why we shouldn't. Edward here has not got a lot of help. So this is where Maximilian came way back before he, um, lots of bad things occurred and mainly because of this. Maximilian had not lied. The city is miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel. But the thought of what lies inside, the guardians of Chattagura, make Edward shiver with fear. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy onto the city itself. For further information, and a reason to bring him in, Enga. They killed the city's inhabitants, using them for food, for slaves, for play. In the city's last dark, doomed days, blood filled the waterways, drained upon the streets, a proud, mighty race, now nothing but bloody goblets of meat in the gutters. So it has been for eons. The Guardians, those eternal parasites, still swarm in that necropolis, feeding on those, those that live in ignorance many miles above us. Damn you, listen to me. 
They feed on us! The darkness, the darkness comes. It will consume us all. We must fight them. Or all is lost. Yeah, the, the Maximilian segments of this game are, like, without question, my favorite parts. Because that's just so absurd. It's doing proud, kids. It's doing proud. Now we know what's down here. You guys might remember from way back. So here we are. The ruins of the ancient city of Engar were parasitized by the guardians. They had slaughtered the original inhabitants and fed upon them, laying waste their civilization. The ghosts of the glorious past lie forgotten, and the chitterings of the parasites echo among the remnants of their legacy. Yeah. These things weren't even the first thing down here. Hello! How do you guys do? Time to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got wrecked. And it was glorious. And it was glorious. So yeah, the Rovis family, man, it just so happens to have been built on top of an ancient civilization underground that no one knew anything of. As you do. Time to go exploring! Oh boy, hello. There it is, down the back. That thing is, um, needs extreme care. Casting spells and all sorts of, wow, he just got one shot by the way, that dude. One shot, God. Beautiful. Very nice. Need more of that, please. Alright, let's kill this freaking guardian then, shall we? Don't know what it's casting, but we need to just pay careful here. Using attack magic on us. Shit, shielded. I've got to spell that. Summoning bastard. Right, we need to dispel this shield. It's, it's uh, summoned on it. Uh, dispel... That one. Yeah, shoot it up. Oi! Where you going, huh? This calls for uh, higher ordnance, I imagine. Just double elephant gun shot to the face. Eat it. This gun is absurdly strong. You don't often get to fire guns that are literally so powerful they make you fall over. Memories of uh, my my favorite M1100. Right, we are kind of a bit beaten up here. Let me just... You got sent sell time. What do you got here then? Oh, 
We are descending into I don't know where. The prince were like the ones Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City, where he found the essences of the ancients. Edward briefly wonders what their purpose could be. Doesn't look very similar, doesn't it? What in the heck? A massive circle of power. You switch around the perimeter of this room corresponds to a focusing tower where a rune may be scribed. Once a spell has been scribed, it is magnified by the array. It would be the Guardian City's weakness if one could somehow remove the magic from this area. Hmm. I don't know how we can do this. I need to know why I'm pressing it though. I don't want to just press them all for the sake of pressing them. Can't interact with any more of them now, so it looks like I've got a. I guess I gotta proceed in or something. I'm not unsure. I'm gonna save the game again. Because we're about we're treading into dangerous territory here. For 2002, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Just gonna go ahead and uh, give myself some more shielding here. You understand? Well, I've got it. The spires would be focusing magical energy from a nearby source. If a rune is marked on the spire, it will affect the flow of magic. I don't have any choice in the rune I'm scribing, so I gotta put it in. Let me guess. I don't have it anymore, do I? Oh, I do have it. Oh, thank God. I was, I was about to say, I was like, have I, do I, does that cost me the room? I think what we're trying to do here is... Uh-oh. That's bad. Appears to be a tag team affair here. Well, it's bad news for some of these dudes. Reload, man. Use the fact you're shielded. Wow. It's taking those shots like a champ. It's not dead. What? Ridiculous. Damn, that took some rounds. Again, there's the green one, so we need red for that. I've got an idea, actually, what we've got to be doing here. I think we've actually got to go ahead and we've got to take out, like, its heads. I was asking a lot. I knew that. Alright, buddy. If you want to fight, then we can throw down. I'm okay with this. Suck, by the way. Gee, yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta take out their heads, and the shotgun spreads out. So, shotgun is the way to go for those, for sure. That is the weapon. You are sand and 
Well, no choice. It opens that route, so we're just kind of wandering through here as we do, and eventually we'll find the solution to, to our troubles. That uh, takes us back here. Okay, that's good. But I think that's what we're going to do. Basically, what we're looking to do is we're going to looking to put together a big dispel magic spell across this circle of power to just, like, kill everything, basically. I think that's what we're attempting to do. Something along those lines. Well, we got a, uh... We got a lot of runes to clear, kids. We got a lot of runes. I think we've got to do all nine, basically. So I hope you guys are comfortable. Right. Interesting that we've now got a choice of runes here. Huh. Netflix and Redgamore. I guess we'd want Aratek and Redgamore to like dis to like uh I don't know if it matters which I use to spend here. Like I actually legit don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. What we got? Uh! Shot the wrong thing! He missed! Good. I stay at this place. These things are pissed, and they should be. I don't have to fight everything here, by the way. Oh, I am going to. At least for now. Uh, I need... Uh, what spell do I want? Uh, I want blue, right? Try and not get caught into the trap around here. Alright, you scumbag. Oh, took out his arm off, arm off as well. Good God. That was um, a savage blow. Very good. Would you guys shut up over there? Jeez. In the streets of the damned, blood flows along channels gouged in stone. For the unfathomable purpose to nourish the city's parasitic denizens, or to be used to fuel Chattagura's dark magic. Nice! That's just straight blood. Beautiful. Beautiful. This place sucks. Uh, oh, I'm here. Right, okay. Suddenly, I was like, where the hell am I? I'm like, oh, yeah, I've already done this. I know where I am. Kind of hate sometimes you got this whole stamina thing for the, um, for this, but hey, ho. Well, let's keep going, I guess. job of blending in like the 3ds and obviously the background image 
stomach. Gonna need plenty of Pargon. We know how this stuff works. Plenty of Pargon. So we get ourselves into next. 